Welcome to Recreational Power Sports, Andreas here. Just want to talk about prop talk one more time. The most common question I get asked all the time is, what will a different prop do for me? Or how do I know if I have the right prop? How you know if you have the right prop is take whatever prop you currently have on your boat right now. Look and identify what pitch you have on your boat right now. Take your boat out on the water and know the red line of your boat at wide open throttle. I want you to take your boat at wide open throttle, take your hat, turn it this way and go mock one with your hair on fire. Take your boat and go. Whatever boat you have, know the red line of your boat, make sure your tachometer is working. We don't want to blow up a motor and have a, a piston go through out to the side of the prop. But we do want the motor to operate in the top operating zone that it can operate in so you get the best performance. Whether you're just cruising or whether you want bottom end power, like recreational power sports, you want power to move you. So when you're tubing, wakeboarding, and water skiing, you want to get some power out of that engine. And you can't, it's like being on a bike. You can't be in third gear if you want to be in first gear with a full load. Like you need to get some power going. So how you know is if you have a 15 pitch prop and wide open throttle, look what your RPM is. The difference between the 15 and the 17 is four mile an hour faster for the 17 because it's a higher gear, 400 RPM lower. Your feet are going faster in the 15 pitch, slower on the 17 pitch, and as you gear up, guess what happens? You gain four mile an hour, but you lose 400 RPM because on a bike, your feet go fast, they slowly go slower. If you're pedaling slower, but going faster. A 19 pitch prop, in theory, is faster than a 17, is faster than a 15. But, do you have the power in your legs and the motor to turn a higher gear at optimum RPM for what you're doing? If you just want to go cruising, then you obviously don't want to be revving at red line at wide open throttle. You want to be in a lower, a higher gear because you want lower RPM to get better fuel economy. If you want to be tubing, wakeboarding, water skiing with more weight in the boat, more people, then go to a lower gear prop to get more power back in the engine so you can pedal up a hill with a full load. Again, four mile an hour difference, 400 RPM difference, don't over rev the motor. But when you call me, I need a baseline. I need to know what boat motor you have, what pitch of prop you have, what gear you're in, because you have a single speed transmission, and then I need to know at wide open throttle what is your RPM rating at wide open throttle so we can do the math together. The math doesn't lie. The way you can't change the weight of the boat unless you get to throw the, the kitchen sink out of there. So obviously we want to go boating and have a good time. We want to weigh it down. Let's get you the right prop for the right gear. Just, just want to talk one more item here, the standstill props versus the aluminum. One of the problems or one of the challenges I have is once you tell me what boat motor you have and what pitch of prop you're running, because it's identified on the propeller somewhere on the prop, you'll know what pitch it is. And if you can tell me at wide open throttle what RPM you're getting, I can do a mathematical calculation as to what to do for what gear to put your boat in. One of the real hard problems I have is, is when you run an aluminum prop and you have a really, really heavy boat and you put the throttle down and you're just going, the aluminum will bend and flex sometimes and distort and just sit there and spin because it's it's basically bald tires on the back of a limo. It's just spinning out like a drag car racing off the line and you're getting this high RPM reading and you think, oh, I'm over revving, I'm over revving, but really you're just spinning out because the aluminum prop can't get no traction and can't paddle for you because it's just spinning. It's it's wheelbarrow, it's trying to push, it's too heavy. It can't push the weight it's trying to push. So the aluminum three blade is sometimes not gonna cut it on a pontoon boat or on a heavy boat, uh, um, a heavy fishing boat up in the north where you got a lot of weight, a lot of uh, gear in there. Like you got tons of gear, tons of weight. I know, I understand that you wanna be safe about your hub and your prop and hitting the bottom and hitting rocks, but unfortunately the aluminum is so inefficient you actually get a proper RPM reading with an empty boat. And I can't, when you weigh that boat down, these props just become so much more inefficient versus the stainless steel being five times stronger. So this is in essence, a rubber paddle versus a wooden paddle. So again, the right prop for the right application. If you're just empty fishing, just tooling around, having a good time, great, the aluminum's fine and 
overall okay. But if you got some performance you want or you got some weight issues, the stainless steel is the way to go because you're saving your money in gas. And with today's new hubkits that are removable, see my hubkit video, you'll see that the hubkits are removable and that it, the hubkits are meant to fail before it wrecks the whole prop. So again, the right prop for the right application, stainless steel versus aluminum, there's no contest. The stainless steel is unbelievable. Thanks for watching.